Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to do this word by word animation in DaVinci Resolve. There are plenty of ways to do this, but the way I'm going to be doing it requires only two nodes, or actually one node and an instance of it. And you're only going to have to do this setup once, since you can save it as a macro and reuse it. And I just want to say I didn't come up with this technique myself, I actually found it in a Reddit comment from about three years ago by someone named Marcusa3000, so credit goes to him. He hasn't posted anything in two years. I hope he's doing okay. I'm pretty sure he was the first one who figured this out, so yeah. So with that said, let's start by adding a fusion composition onto the timeline and heading over to the fusion tab. So you can make this by four simple steps. First of all, you need a text node. You're gonna write your text here and you're gonna instantly copy this node and paste an instance of it and connect it to the mask input of the first text node. Now step two. In this new instance, you gotta go to the shading tab, first of all, and you're gonna right click on this enable button and deinstance it, and then do the same for the second shading tab. Right click, deinstance. Now you need to enable the second shading tab. Let's preview the instance here. And you're gonna click in this on this border fill. Now when you click this, you will get a word option here which will make this border follow words instead of letters. And you can adjust its width here just so that it covers the words. Then you're gonna disable the first shading tab so that you only see this. Now we're gonna be using this to mask the words of the text one. To do this, we need to animate these guys. Let's add a follower modifier. Let's add a delay of one second. Let's go to the shading tab. Let's go to the second one that we want to animate. You don't need to enable it here, you just need to keyframe the opacity. So if we go to frame 0, add a keyframe for the opacity, get it down to 0 and then go like 10 frames later and get it back up to 1, we can ease these frames. And now, by previewing the media out, you can see what's happening. If you preview the text, you will understand it more. So we keyframe these border fills that we made to animate word by word and this text class is only showing inside them we're using this instance as it as a mask what's good about this is that you can change the text here and it will change here as well so you don't need to manually keyframe anything it will always be the same size as the normal text because it's an instance you know and now that we that everything is instanced this text one plus node also works on the same modifier that we created so if we go to this transform tab, let's preview the media out and keyframe the Y input, let's keyframe zero. Well, let's keyframe the Y offset. And then it would create a path, you just ignore that. And then go 10 frames later and reset it back to zero. Let's ease them. Now you can see what's happening. And this is reusable. You can export this as a macro and customize it yourself, or you can download the macro I'm gonna link in the description down below. I'm gonna keep it as a group operator, so when you drop it on the edit page, you can use these very limited controls here, like the text, the font, the color, etc. But if you wanna change the animation, you just go to the Fusion, and since it's a group operator, you can just animate everything here like we did before. This is like, the macro doesn't even exist. You can animate the shading tabs, the instance, here's a modifier. And yeah, I think this is the best way to do this. It requires minimal keyframes and it's very reusable and it requires minimal amounts of nodes. A huge shout out to Marcus at 3000 from Reddit. I hope he comes back with more bangers. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. This was my first ever tutorial on YouTube, so uh, it's a bit messy, but yeah. Peace out.